हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम ऑन द हाफ ऑफ ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ कंपोजिट मटेरियल्स आवर टॉपिक इज लर्निंग मैकेनिक्स ऑफ कंपोजिट मटेरियल्स यूनिट नंबर फोर्स इन योर टॉपिक इन योर सिलेबस टॉपिक्स टू बी लर्न विच इज अल्टीमेट स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द यूनिट डायरेक्शनल लैमिना in which mechanical tension of the mechanical testing and second one is the five ultimate strength parameters for the unidirectional lamina first is the ultimate strength unidirectional lamina mechanical property these are the various terms we are not familiar to this right now turn to first first is the ultimate strength of a unidirectional lamina first of all we discuss on the unidirectional lamina we consider the mechanics of materials approach in described in fiber matrix interactions in a unidirectional lamina owing to tensile and compressive loadings there are some basic assumptions for this which is fibers are uniformly distributed throughout the matrix then number second perfect bonding exists between the fibers and matrix next one is the matrix is free of voids next one is the the applied force is either parallel to or no normal to the fiber direction the lamina is initially is in a stress free state then both fibers and matrix behave a linearly elastic materials then fundamental of this lamina consider lamina right in the uh, some year then to next one is a, our topics mechanical uh, testing unidirectional carbon fibers is a types of carbon reinforcement that non woven and fe- features all fiber running in a single parallel direction with which style of fabrics the unidirectional lamina is a thin layer ply of composites and normally treated as a two dimensional problems now let's see geometry of longitudinal tensile strength specimens right some objectives of this mechanical testings these are shown in the right side diagram in on the utm machine the tensile specification mounted on the test frame to develop the mechanical testings of the materials depends upon other scientific factors the factors help in better understanding and facilitate the progress in evaluating the various processes there are some processes includes quality control of the process quality assurance for the materials developed and structure fabricated from there of better material selection comparison between available materials then it can be used as an indicator in materials development program design analysis starting point in the formulations of new theories such properties evaluated for the materials like composites is very sensitive to various internal structure factors however these are depends on the some internal factors which are these factors he listed again which are the property of fibers surface characteristics matrix materials so and so vibro pavlo volume fractions right now turn to this the figure show geometry of tensile specific for the tension of composite materials they are like gauge length given length given tap thickness how then on which yeah, it will be done are shown right side figure see the longitudinal tensile stress versus longitudinal tensile strain how the stress proportional to the strain strain in the percentage and stress in the mega pascal are shown both are simultaneously increases in same proportion now next then picture mounted at the test frame for finding the compressive strength of a lamina 
for the compressive strength of the lamina has been found by several different method a highly recommended method is iit ri means illinois institute of technology research institute for the compressive strength figure shows the this arrangement mounted on the test frame a specimen are consist of taken of 16 to 20 piles of 0 degree lamina that are 6.4 mm into bracket 1 by 4 in wide and 127 mm into bracket 5 in long strain gauge are mounted in the longitudinal directions on the both faces of the specimen to check for parallelism of the edges and ends the specimen is compressed at a rate of 0.5 to 1 mm per minute 0.02 to 0.04 in per minute a total of 40 to 50 data points for stress and strain are taken until the specimen fills the trace in the longitudinal direction is plotted as a function of longitudinal strain and is shown for the tip- typical graphite or epoxy lamina the data are reduced the using linear regressions and the modulus is the initial slope of the stress strain curve now show the five ultimate strain parallel parameters for the unidirectional lamina number 1 longitudinal tensile strain number 2 longitudinal compressive strain number 3 transverse tensile strain and number 4 transverse compressive strain and number 5 in plane plan shear strain shear strain first one is a longitudinal tensile strain in this stress strain curve the fiber matrix and composites under tensile load is shown in the figure figure shows the fiber composite matrix the stress to strain curve of the diaplo curve fiber and matrix are isotropic homogeneous and linearly elastic until failure the failure stress for the matrix is higher than for the fiber which is the case for polymer polymeric matrix composites for example glass fiber fails at strain of 3 to 5 degree but an epoxy fails at strain for 9 to 10 degrees longitudinal strain size strength modes of the failure of the lamina are shown in as a b c how the first number number second number third how it will be failed are shown in this figure fails mode of this strain size strain there are three uh, modes brittle fractures of fiber then brittle fractures of fiber with pull out and fiber pull out with fiber matrix debonding next number second which is the longitudinal compressive strain there are three failure modes which are shown then some shear is lastly attached but it is not part first is a failure of matrix and fiber matrix bond due to tensile strength in the matrix then number one for fiber micro bucking in shear or extensional mode next one is shear failure of the fibers as shown then transverse tensile failure as shown here next one is the transverse tensile strain figure shows the matrix fibers then sigma to this representative the volume elements of to calculate transverse tensile strain of a unidirectional lamina a mechanism of materials approach model of finding the transverse tensile strain of a unidirectional lamina there are some assumptions one is a perfect fiber matrix bond number second uniform spacing of the fiber number third the fiber and matrix follow hooke's law there are no residual residual stresses now number four transverse compressive strain which are the answer compressive strain divided by the graph between the transverse compressive strain and uh, transverse compressive strain 
which are shown for the graphite epoxy laminated under the transfer compressive load perpendicular to the fiber as shown in this figure. Next pore is the in-plane shear strength. In the in-plane shear strength, that atom one of its playing shear trace of magnitude are the, uh, given, which is shear gauge rosette, which are shown for the chemical uh, diagram of laminate shear trace. Okay, thank you.